Hello and welcome to the course on information gathering with Kali Linux. I am your instructor and guide. My name is Sean Philip Oriano and I'm going to be one taking you through this journey with Kali Linux. Before we go too far, let's just talk a little bit about me so you kind of know what my background is and where I am coming from as far as this course goes and this topic goes. Uh, I have spent over 25 years working in the IT and security slash cybersecurity fields. Uh, in fact, it's actually coming up on 30 years in about another 12 months or so. I have spent multiple years of that consulting within the area of cybersecurity. And consulting, I would include instructing uh, as well as mentoring, leading teams, just a number of things that can be put under that banner. Additionally, I have used my experience and knowledge to author multiple cybersecurity titles that have been published. Uh, I have uh, 10 titles right now, and I am feverishly working on additional ones to bring to you that for you to enjoy. I also am an individual that specializes in cyber, secure, or cyber warfare and I develop strategies for use in the cyber warfare arena. That is an area that deals with conducting new forms of warfare within the fifth domain, which is what they call cyberspace. So I've, I've been, been in this field for a while and I'm now applying those lessons on how to, on how to conduct those type of operations in that arena. So let's go ahead and take a look at what the course is bringing you and take a quick look at the overview of this specific course. What we'll learn in this course is we will learn about the different hardware options and post-installation issues that may arise when you are installing the Kali Linux product. And there can be a number of them, but we'll help you get through those by taking a look at what those issues are and how to address them as they come up. Then we'll move on to extracting information from web servers in an effort to learn about a web server and what its installation and environment looks like. So we will learn you know, how a web server is set up, how a company may have positioned it, different plugins they may have put in. We'll be examining that there. Then we'll move on to gathering information from web applications, which are those items that reside on top of a web server. And this is important because a lot of the environments you run into will actually have a web application running on top of a web server. So you'll need to know this additional information to really make an effective attack or effective penetration of a target. And then in our last section, we are going to take a look at fingerprinting web servers. And this is going to be a process where we get a very or reasonably reliable look at what a web server is running as far as operating system, web server version, and any details we may have missed about the web application we can pick up there to learn what the environment is. And this helps us understand, you know, what we're going up against and how to really tailor our attacks by learning really specifically what it is we're facing so we can only use the tools that will specifically target that environment. So let's talk about prerequisites for this course to make sure that you understand what you need to be bringing to the table or what you need to develop very quickly to get the most out of the experience with this course. First of all we are looking to have from you to have some experience and knowledge of the Linux operating system. This doesn't mean that you need to have specific experience with Kali Linux, but that would be most useful. But experience in Linux operating systems such as Ubuntu, uh, OpenSUSE, or really any of the ones that are out there is going to prove helpful. And definitely getting that experience is going gonna, is gonna to be very, very useful to you. It's also going to be very handy to have some experience with networks and the process of network administration because that will give you an idea of why we're doing what it is that we're doing when we do spare various tests. So we want to get you some experience with that and get you get your hands dirty with that. 
then you should also have some intermediate to advanced knowledge of operating systems. That means Linux, that also means Windows, and you could actually throw other operating systems in there, but those are the two that are going to prove most advantageous to you, is to have in-depth experience with Linux and the Windows operating system. So I'm not just talking from a user standpoint, I'm talking from a technical standpoint, doing a deep dive in everything, that's going to be very helpful to you. You should also have a good level of comfort with using the command line. That means when you open up a console window and start tapping commands in, you are not someone that has any sort of apprehension about doing that. Because quite frankly, just about everything we do in here is going to be done at the command line. There are some exceptions, but most of the stuff is going to be kicked off using the command line because that's where most of the power lies for the bulk of the tools. And if you can get comfortable with the command line and get comfortable with it quickly, the better for you. That's why you want to have experience with Linux as well uh, because a lot of Linux is done at the command line. And then finally, not really necessarily a skill that you can go read a book on or anything like that, it just comes from plain old experience, is having a, t a talent to pay attention to detail. Little details it, it are going to be the thing that kills you when you first start using in the, something like Kali Linux because a single character off or in the wrong case, meaning upper or lower case, or the space in the wrong spot, could change the results of a whole command. It could also, not paying attention to detail, could mean you could miss something in the results that are coming out. And so you're going to see a lot of repetition of reviewing results in this course, and that's to really drive the point home that you got to pay attention to what's in there. As far as the course objectives, we've got four key points that we emphasize that are going to be useful to you in information gathering. Uh, we're going to focus on the objective of understanding information gathering, what that is, and why you want to do it. It does have a very specific place in the process of pen testing. We will look at how to interpret all that information, how to process it, because you're going to get a lot of information, so we're going to know how to digest that properly. We're going to spend time not just interpreting, but pulling out those little nuggets, those little details of information that are hidden in there to the layperson, but to us, as we train our eyeballs, we're going to be able to pick up more of that information. And then we're also going to take time to understand the relationships between different pieces of data and different tasks. No task is going to stand completely on its own. They're all going to be providing information that can be woven together to form this tapestry, this picture of information that we can use to go to our next step.